the fifth film in the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, and also its title is a little bit of a misnomer. Yeah, because even though it's called Dead Men Tell No Tales, there are dead men in the movie that do tell tales, and then all of that is negated by the fact that I am alive, and I'm going to tell you a tale about how good or bad the movie is. Ah, the semantics of Hollywood movie titles. Gotta love it. This film once again stars Johnny Depp as Captain Jack Sparrow. Geoffrey Rush is back as Captain Barbosa. Javier Bardem is introduced as a new villain named Salazar. In this movie, Jack is a pirate who is out of his prime. He is no longer a great pirate. His crew is turning on him. It's bad times for Jack all around. It gets worse when he figures out that there's this really dead, evil, ugly looking dude named Salazar after him for something that happened in the past. And meanwhile, while that's going on, you have Will Turner's son who is after this magical MacGuffin because it can do something nice for him and help someone he cares about and then he runs into this girl and this girl is after it for similar reasons even though she has her own motivations for going after this thing and then pretty much everyone in the movie is after this thing this magical MacGuffin thing and so that's what the pirate movie is no pirate puns at all throughout this review I'm just gonna set sail I'm gonna hoist anchor and I'm just gonna give you the lowdown on pirates savvy Full disclosure, before I get started with the actual review, if there's anyone who is excited about Will Turner and Kiara Knightley as Elizabeth Swan back in this franchise, like if they saw them in the trailer and they're like, oh, oh, that's pretty awesome, I can't wait to see them. I don't feel like you should actually get that excited. They're really not in the movie all that much at all. Yeah, I would say combined they have a total of a minute and a half of screen time. They're, they're really not in the movie. There's a story-based reason for why they're not in the movie that much. But if you were excited about that, if you were coming to this movie, if they marketed Will Turner coming back, and you were like, yes, that's one of the reasons I want to see it. Don't, don't get excited. He's not in the movie that much. As far as the rest of the movie, though, I got to say, it was pretty entertaining. And that's really all I go to these Pirates movies for is dumb high seas entertainment. Johnny Depp, I mean, he's been playing this character for almost 15 years, and he still is the same Jack that we knew, albeit, again, out of his prime. He's not really a great pirate anymore. He's not as clever and as badass as he used to be. He can't pull off things that he used to do, and people don't have the same faith in him as before. After 15 years of playing the same character, there's almost not that much you can do with his character, but what I did like in this movie is that they did focus a little bit more on Jack's backstory. Yeah, they did explain the backstory and the connection between between him and the villain and you get to see a little bit more of how the legend of Jack Sparrow actually got started. For me, hands down, that was the most fascinating and interesting thing about the movie. Beyond that, Jack probably has the funniest parts in the movie and he's still the alcoholic, possibly bisexual pirate that we've all come to know. Oh come on, he switches when he walks people, don't tell me you haven't noticed it. All the other cast and crew do a pretty capable job of filling in. Kaya Scodelario, I think, is the new chick that comes into this movie. But she honestly, she had the most character of the new people that I remember in the movie. And there was something to her character. She had a pretty cool personality. And obviously she had the spring break titties out. So it was kind of more like Friday when I was watching her in a movie because of how hot she is. And spring break titties are like, hey Hannibal. And I was just kind of like, hey. There are also some pretty inventive and entertaining action sequences in this movie. And as far as action goes, Pirates of the Caribbean has always had pretty decent visual effects and pretty great action sequences. In this film in particular, they do some really inventive and ambitious action sequences that I haven't really seen in a Pirates movie before. There is one scene in particular involving a safe in a building that you kind of have to just see to believe. I was just kind of like, wow, I did not expect this. As far as Salazar goes, Salazar is ugly and they really do a great job with his makeup and making him look creepy and Javier Bardem did a great job of pulling off the whole I'm a creep thing. The Black Pearl is a pretty beautiful ship, but on every Black Pearl, there are bilge rats, there's scurvy, there's things about the shit we don't like. So we gotta talk about that shit now. The biggest problem with Dead Men Tell No Tales is the same problem that a lot of the other pirate movies have had since the first one, and that is, the movie tries to do way too much. These pirate movies have turned into these huge bloated things where they have to have like a whole bunch of different characters and different subplots and different things all going on at the same time. And it can make for a pretty cluttered and incoherent viewing experience, honestly. From a storytelling standpoint, this movie is a mess. Too many things to keep track of. I mean, okay, you're juggling this thread over here with the girl, and then you're juggling this thing over here with Barbara 
Barbosa, he has another story in this movie. You're juggling Jack, and then you're juggling Salazar, and then you're juggling the English Armada, who for some reason are still after these pirates. Then you have another witch in the movie, and that's never explained, and then there are other things that are not explained, and then you have the Flying Dutchman. I mean, there's just a too many things going on in this movie. And a lot of them are really unnecessary. There are two in particular that I can't spoil, but I will suffice it to say that I just did not care for these subplots at all. All. do some things where they tried to pay homage to the original Pirates of the Caribbean and they tried to recreate the dynamic that existed between Jack and Will and Elizabeth. They tried to do that with Jack and then the two characters in this movie and it's not their fault but that dynamic just isn't the same it's not as good it's not as interesting it's not as funny and that really doesn't go anywhere at all either i did enjoy pirates of the caribbean and i think pirates of the caribbean fans overall are going to have a fun time with this movie even though i personally did enjoy the movie i will say that i think they should end it here but we know that Hollywood companies only care about that cha-chang, and so they're, they're going to keep making more, obviously. I'm going to put Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man Tell No Tales right where it belongs, in the golden age of positive. guys those are my thoughts on pirates of the caribbean let me know if you're interested in seeing that movie this weekend let me know what your favorite pirates of the caribbean movie is so far but as always if you like what you see tell me how you feel and stay tuned to hear more from the man of steel peace